Hey everybody, it's Leah. Uh, we are currently in Tonga in the South Pacific and we're gonna do a day in the life of outreach. So we've started our day with a quiet time, spending some time with Jesus, and we're about to do breakfast and have a team meeting. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we have a spot on the radio here in Tonga and we're gonna be sharing our testimonies. How are we feeling, everyone? Woo! It's exciting, okay. Hello, hello. All right, Kaylee, so we just finished at the radio. What was something cool that God did? I think it was cool to see how uh, we were able to share our testimonies, and then afterwards, uh, people from the city were actually able to uh, text in and ask questions and say thank you for actually uh, how the, the stories have actually impacted their lives. Something we do here in Waimantanga is join a base intercession. So every Thursday morning, we pray uh, for something that they feel is on their heart. And today we're going to pray about the University of the Nations. So we're going to do that as a team. All right, so we're actually going to head to a all boys school here in Tonga. And it's very cool because something we really felt God speak about Tonga was being a voice of identity. I'm really sensing a lot of overall insecurity and wanting to be a voice of truth in that. So we're going to go and share some testimonies and some dramas and it's going to be sweet. Alright, sweet. So that's Leah. She's in Tonga. Um, they're on outreach right now, but I'm here at the base whoop, whoop. and I'm not alone. I'm with my man Woo! Day Day <laughs> back from outreach. Day Day, where, mm -hmm. where have you been? I was just in South Korea. I came back yesterday mm -hmm. How was your time? It was great. That's great. Yeah, okay So let me tell tell me about a story from outreach. You were mm -hmm. at a what was it? Uh, was it a illustration fair? Hey friends and family, it's me David here in South Korea and I'm currently at the Seoul Illustration Fair 2019. I'm here to meet one of our past AES students and media ministry staff, Torong. Torong has been an illustrator for a while and she, she has been doing that before Y1 Perth. Uh, her webtoon, her web cartoon called Chorong with Jesus has a large number of subscriptions uh, over different platforms on social media. And after her time in YWAM Perth, she's been able to come back here in South Korea and do new things like publishing a book and also starting drawing and painting classes for evangelical purposes. She's also been able to start merchandising for different illustration goods for evangelical purposes. So let's go find Chorong. I-53, but it's not here. Maybe it's on the other side. <laughs> yeah, real. Hello, first family. Hi, guys. So good to see you. Hey. Sorry, I'm so busy. <laughs> Graphic designer, 8 years ago, I was doing illustration. 
아티스트로서 그리고 일러스트레이터로서 그리고 그래픽 디자이너로서 약간 기초를 다져줬다고 해야 되나? 그러니까 내가 어떻게 정말 하나님의 그 마음을 가지고 어떻게 이게 그림을 만들고 뭐 레이아웃을 짜고 그러니까 모든 것을 성령님이랑 어떻게 동행할 수 있는가 그거를 배운 것 같아요. 그게 아주 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 중요했어 나한테는. 지금 하시고 계신 일들에 어떻게 일단은 내 만화 자체가 저 이제 하나님 사랑에 대해서 그리는 거고 이제 웹툰을 하는 거니까 진짜 많은 사람들이 사실 보기 때문에 그러니까 거의 셀수 없는 사람들이 이제 보는 것 같아요. 그래서 뭐 더, 정말 많은 언어로 번역이 돼서 나도 모르는 새 많이 퍼져나가고 있으니까 그러니까 나의 간증이나 내가 만난 하나님이 그, 그 나의 재능을 통해서 이렇게 저더 저 이렇게 퍼지는 거 보면은. 굳이 내가 막 성교지를 나가지 않더라도 그냥 현장에서 내가 할수 있는 걸로 하나님을 이렇게 전할 수 있다는 거? 그게 아주 매력이죠. 만약에 재능이 있다면 그냥 하나님 믿고 그냥 무조건 해라. 어. 그리고 특히 아트를 하는 사람은 나로서 출발하지 않고 하나님의 영광을 위해서 를 출발하면 언젠가 열매가 반드시 맺힌다는 거? 내가 이거 한지 지금 10년 됐거든 딱. 근데 10년 차 이거 참가하게 돼가지고 계속 포기하지 않고 하다 보면 이렇게 하나님께서 기회를 주신다. 그말꼭 하고 싶어요. 음. You should be like Chora on doing a year. Come on, let's go! <웃음> on that note, on that note. High five, bro. Oh, Come sorry. On. on that note, we do have a current a e s student who wants to share a testimony, so check it out. <웃음> Let's go! I think, I, think that was, I think that was better. Yeah. Hi! So we're currently in Indonesia. It's our second week here. And yeah, we're in a location where y n Perth has been sending in teams for quite a while now. And it's really cool that because of the relationships that have been built, that yeah, there's such an open door for us. So what we're working on is we're doing a mural, as you can see, um, that we'll do outside and also inside. And we're not just doing it ourselves, but we're also involving the community. So we want to teach them how to paint, teach them how they can create murals so that, yeah, they can keep beautifying their town even long after we're gone. And so the people we're working with are like the students from the English Corner that one of the previous teams actually started. And that, yeah, teams after continue to go to and that we got to go to. And so, yeah, it's really cool how each of us in doing just our little parts play Just yeah, part in the bigger picture because this is where all the villages surrounding will actually be coming together on Indonesia Day. And so yeah, basically this whole district is going to be able to see it, which is such a, yeah, a really big privilege. And so no, this may not be a Christian community or anything like that, but you can definitely see just God's beauty and His glory and His kingdom really increasing in this place, team by team. So that's it from us today guys. If you want to know more about the AES, check out the link below. Also if you want to check out Chorong with Jesus on Instagram, also check out the link below. See you in two weeks.